Welcome back to this Let's Play of Fallout 3. Last time we finished up the Super Duper Walmart, and now Moira has asked us to get heavily irradiated. Which sounds horrific and potentially deadly, but it's actually a pretty easy quest. Because, oh look, there's an irradiated bomb right here. And by standing next to it, as you can see, our irradiation just goes up. And I think maybe... Oh, I can't do that. I was going to say, maybe if I can just wait. So we'll just sit here. I don't know if there's any way to speed up the process. But let's go over here. This is pretty much the... Uh, there's radiation. This is pretty much the easiest way to do it. Yeah, so we're at 135. We want to get to 600. So we'll just sit here and bask in the radiation this would be the perfect time for the guy to be out here preaching and just be like look at this fellow follower basking in the radiation of of the atom he's not even out here what a slacker what kind of preacher is he we should be okay though so we're gonna sit here for a moment we'll get irradiated and then i'll be right back oh and oh look we're having radiation poisoning surprise surprise all right we'll be right back well, while we were waiting, we're almost at 600 now. Look who showed up. Confessor Cromwell, the loon. I mean, the uh, preacher of the Ch Church of Adam. Shall know an end to pain, and shall know Adam in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come, drink with me, and pray. I mean, I guess I am sitting here drinking with him. Glorious Adam. <laughs> but Moira is kind of crazy, too. And we've got 600, so let us go and... uh leave the loon i mean the confessor and let's go and uh uh let's see where's moira is she up here oh this is the armory whoops no i should have taken that left turn at albuquerque yeah, i made a mistake somewhere whoops uh needed to go up where the clinic was oh that's over here huh that up here? Oh, I always get turned around at some of these places. I know. So bad. What is this one? Why is there radiation on this? Oh, Children of the Atom. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. That's probably what the problem is, huh? This is the clinic right here. Yeah, I'm on the wrong side. That's what the problem is. All right. Hey, Sheriff. Apparently I'm new here. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Moira, I'm busy dying right now from radiation poisoning. So, oh, I should show everyone this real quick. So as you can see, because we have massive radiation poisoning, we have a minus one strength, minus three endurance, minus two agility. So you don't actually want to allow this to happen. And using Radaway and Radex will help get rid of it. But you take a lot of penalties for it. So Moira, fix me up. Oh, hey, uh, kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Are you joking me? I'm dying. What do you mean you're kind of busy? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I'm, about a, I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. If you listen closely, I can hear my I can hear my jeans crying. So you're experiencing delusions too. No. Fascinating. Yeah, but... Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out um... fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? What she means she's never tried it out before. Wait a second. Ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Happy thoughts? Oh gosh, we're dead. Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, <laughs> take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Thanks guess. Yeah, but alright, let's just finish up 
Let's see here. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation, poisoning crippled limbs automatically regenerate. So now, because we did this, we actually get a bonus from... If we get too much radiation, poisoning will actually, like, regenerate some crippled limbs. So we actually get a benefit to some extent if you get heavily radiated. So that's nice. Alright, let's get the landmine research done, I suppose. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. How original. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Uh, that seems kind of unhealthy. How will you make it worth my while? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag grenades, in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. And if you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? Mm, all right, I guess we'll go. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Oh, and while we were off screen, I attempted to sell a few things to her. Actually, how much space do we have? Uh, now we're still pretty loaded down. Um, the problem is she can't afford anything else right now. Could we sell at... You know what? We might be able to do that. Go over to Moriarty's and sell. Let's go over there real quick. See if we can sell maybe some of the food we've got or something. Because right now we've got too much. We're a bit weighed down. I'd like to get rid of some stuff. Unfortunately, Moira is out of money from us uh, selling to her last time. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately. And I need a friendly face. And I need a drink, or to sell you, sell you something instead. Oh, he'll buy the pistol from me and stuff. Oh, guess we can sell that. Um, keep most of those weapons. Let's see, we don't need a lot of this stuff, like dirty water and stuff. I mean, dog meat, wahana bites. I don't know what the heaviest thing I've got is, though. Cigarettes. Let's sell cigarettes. Three more money. Might as well keep that. I've got... I want to keep the cleaner. I... So I'm not positive how the food sanitizer works. I don't remember. I think you have to have the cleaner around with that, but I'm not sure how it works. So I guess we'll see as we go if it... If it works. I guess I just mostly have stuff in this area here, yeah. All these bottles of vodka. We could sell those. Tales of a Junktown Vendor. Oh, I just need to read that. Squirrel Stew. Sure, sell that. Scotch. Let's just sell all this stuff, I guess. Radix. No, no. Psycho. Mentats. I do have a lot of Nuka Colas, actually. Hmm. It looked like. I think last time I saw Moira could sell some kind of vending machine. I wonder if I could put all the Nuka Colas in the vending machine in my house and then, you know, just take some out. Every once in a while. Um. Yeah, I mean that's that's a lot better. Let's do that. See you soon, drunky. Don't hit. Don't hit me. I thought we were friends. Let's see. So let's read this. Barter increased by one. Good. And there we go. Now we're at least we can hold over a hundred pounds of stuff. Let's go out. Can I just jump over this? Bunk, bunk. There shall be no tears. Oh, uh oh, oh! Ho, ho, I was gonna say I'm gonna take some damage. Yeah. The last jump was a bit too much. I jumped into an irradiated pool. Hey Sounds safe. All right, let's go out here. Start heading over to the minefield. That should be marked on our map, but let's just make sure. 
Oh, that's... That's out there a bit. Okay, Arfu's over here. Mm, I don't think I want to go there yet. I could be wrong, but like I said, I think that's the one for the... Need some grub. I think that's the one with vampires, and I don't... I don't feel like I'm ready for that one yet. So we're gonna... We're gonna head this way. We'll head towards Landmine. Maybe we'll get distracted along the way. We'll see. This was... Springfield here. No, actually, you know what? I don't. I didn't really talk to Moriarty much, but he didn't ask us to stop that uh, to find that lady that's living out here in this ruin. But I didn't talk to him much. We ended up getting the information by sneaking in the back way. And I think the last time I played this, that just wasn't a choice. Like I couldn't sneak in the back way because I wasn't very. We just were never very stealthy. I don't think in our last playthrough. All right, well, let's see. There's probably nothing major in here since, like I said, we, we've been through here before. Yeah, there's the school again. That's fine. Is there anything in the mailbox? No. Was this... This was her house right here, right? Small ranch, yeah. We need to go in there for any reason. Let's go up here. We can get a good good view all right I don't see anything hostile I do need to get across this water though without taking too much you know most of the water is irradiated so and you know what we should try to do let's take a why we're why we're moving let's take a risk I'm going to listen to a little bit of the radio. I may have to turn it off because, well, unfortunately, YouTube and Twitch and any most social, most uh, media stuff nowadays is very sensitive with DMCA stuff. So I may or may not be able to do the radio very often. I can't even listen to Galaxy News right now. Most of the radio we can listen to is when they're talking. It's when there's music we won't be able to. Put your faith in John Henry Eden. Great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live again. But for now, my America, we must part. Restoring the greatest country in the world to its former glory, well, well, well that takes time, even for the uncle. Next time, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. You guys hear that? Your president. But, see, like, right there, we're going to mute this part. Because that's what will get us. Like, we can listen to him talking. The music, he... Eh. Most of the background music is when you're roaming around and stuff, so okay. But the music from the radio is... A lot of it will get you, unfortunately. If anybody else is planning to maybe stream or do any of that stuff... Hmm. I don't know if the robot's friendly or not. Nope. Oh no, it looks like it's not. It's marked red on my map. Oh gosh, we can't hit the broad son of a barn. I guess the scope doesn't do me much good. I guess maybe I shouldn't waste my scope ammo until I'm... A little higher level skill level because the scope's not actually doing me any good yeah the regular rifle's doing just as well well technically the regular rifle is doing better i'm actually getting hits those bullets were going everywhere except for where i was aiming let's see what we got here energy cell scrap metal i guess i should take it scrap metal because what's his name in the water plant said he would buy it from us Scrap metal's actually not too bad since we have a buyer. Yeah, that scope seems nice until you realize you can't hit anything. Um. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh. Bloat fly. I'm like, I don't see anything. Do I want this? I, I don't want this. And I thought I saw... Where was that? I thought I saw somebody shooting over here. Yep, there's somebody over... Oh. I guess that works. A vicious dog just killed the bloat fly for me. Oh, wait. Switch guns, switch guns. Come on, ladies. Oh, stop, stop trying to reload. There you go. Uh, the animations in this game with the head just going flying even though you know like I'm just shooting wildly the chance of me taking his head clean off like that pretty low See anything hostile? Filing cabinet. Sure. Is this oven? It's just a pilot light. Yep. Ah, safe. Here we go. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Along with some XP, which is always good. Oh, another safe. All right, good. Oh, wow. What is this? SI? Oh, silenced. Silenced 10 millimeter pistol. Really? Well, we'll take that. Nothing. Dresser? Hmm. Mail? No. Pre-war casual wear. I like how I can take a drink from this sink. How is it possibly still connected to water? Tumblers today? Ooh. I think that gives us a bonus to uh, lockpick. Yeah, lockpick increased by one. Wow. That's a nice find to find out here in the middle of this frankly, ruined junk pile of a town. Okay, well. What's this mailbox here? And then, oh, there's something. Wait. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Nuka-Cola. What I want, though. Okay. I guess this is where we were before. Um, we continue forward. Wait, what's this over here? Well, I'm going to be completely distracted. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get to town eventually. Let me see what's over here. I guess there's just some tires and stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can get to the top of this hill. I have a good vantage point to see if there's anything around. I thought I saw shooting before. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, there's hostels all over. Wait, do I risk using trying to use my good gun? Oh, look at that. It's not hitting. It. Oh, my gosh. It's not hitting the broad side of a barn. I guess because it's a machine gun, it has too much spray. I don't like that. I pegged your buddy, though. So what do you think of that? Oh, 90% chance. Wow. I was say, you're going to get destroyed. Full Q. All right. Well, we don't need that. Thank you. And I guess it's not really a rifle. It's really like a machine gun with a scope. There should be a third person somewhere. Where did they go? Let's see, it even says danger still. Is that them up there? Yep. Got them. All right. 
And we guess, I guess in reality, we really need to find a rifle with a scope and not a machine gun. I just didn't realize, I guess, what type of gun that was. Oh, well. Man, that thing just kind of sprays bullets everywhere and hits nothing. I don't have a lot of ammo for this gun is the issue. So far, so good, though. We haven't had anything really deadly coming at us. That's nice. Mole rat meat? Do I want that? I don't want that. How much? Oh, that's at 91. For some reason, I thought it said 191. I was like, oh, no, already. Look how close we are to... Oh, we're getting close. No, yeah, let's see if John Henry Eden is talking. We live in an age of poverty, greed, violence, destruction. Indeed, the very seat of the federal government, Washington, D.C., has been reduced to what is now known as the Capital Wasteland. The Capital Wasteland. How did it come to this, America? How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth to die? The answer is really quite simple. Incompetence. Wow. Incompetence at the highest echelons of power. We put our trust, our faith, in half-wits. Wow. Our We're talking about nowadays, modern-day government? <laughs> power, wealth, prestige. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eden builds a country, he builds it to last. The American way. Thank goodness for John Henry Eden. Deserve that. Don't you deserve a future free of war and fear and terrible uncertainty? Oh, wait. Of course. Dog meat. Oh, wait a second. I don't think I was supposed to shoot you. Wait a second. When did I save last? I don't know when I saved last, though. Somewhere back here, but isn't dog meat friendly? I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, but we're gonna... Alright, I will go get us all the way back. And then when we come back, I'll I'll restart us once we get uh, once I get back there. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back to the scrapyard now. And I've collected everything we had had before, and I've saved. Let's just save again, just to be safe, though. Um... Let's see if we can find dog meat now. Because he should be a friendly NPC. So if for people that don't know, dog meat's been in previous games. He was in Fallout 2. He was in um he's in Fallout 3, obviously. I think he I don't know if he was in Fallout 1 or not. Someone in the comment section can let us know, because Fallout 1 I just don't remember well enough. The point being, he's normally friendly and so me shooting him accidentally might have aggroed him so hopefully maybe we can get him to join us but first let's see this merchant is hey. doc hoff ah, welcome weary traveler you look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance drug dealer in a suit no good more, good my good friend for i am doc hoff procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance now how may i help you um Yes, let's see what Tell he has to Tell me what sell. you need, and maybe I've got your fix. He shoot all kinds of junk. Guess I could take the stim packs, and maybe there's... I bet you I've got some junk I can sell them. Pistol, Chinese pistol. Hmm. Oh, I've got a scotch. We can sell that to him. Don't need medex. Sell that. We'll get more later of that if we really need it. Cigarettes, pre-war money. We can sell all that. And uh, ammo. I mean, ammo has no weight, so I normally just save it all because you never know. Later on, maybe I want to use it. We'll accept that. We'll pay Another sixty. Satisfied customer. I guess. See you next 
I don't know if you're, I don't know if I'm satisfied per se, but I'll take what you got. All right, let's see if we can find dog meat and uh, persuade him to, to join us. I mean, I wouldn't mind having my own dog. But uh, what I was saying was, you know, he's just a, he's a long-standing character in the series and he's almost, he's normally friendly. So I think I just screwed up and, you know, saw a dog and started shooting like this, this guy. It's probably the, oh, I was just gonna say, that guy's probably the unfriendly one. As King Triton would say, humans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look, he's friendly. You know, I think you're the first dog I've met that didn't try to eat me. I guess your old master must have taken pretty good care of you. Can't really hear the noises, but come with me, dog. It'll be good to have some company out here. Good boy, dog meat. He's gonna. He should follow us around now. Yay! But I don't think last time I had dog meat either. I don't think I found him before. Because generally speaking, when I play, wow, dog meat went on a rampage. Look how many raiders there are. Dead around here. Ooh, submachine gun. Thank goodness, he just went on rampage. Boy. Can I talk about him? I need you to find something for me? Hold still, boy. This stim pack should have you feeling better soon. Don't move till I get back. Let's trade equipment. But he could hold stuff for me? Take this pistol. Oh, it looks like it. Wow. Well, that's nice, too. What's this one do, though? Find ammo? Go try to find me ammo? I have not. I've Like I said, since I haven't tried this before, I don't know how it works. Let's see. Go dog meat. I wonder how this ability works. He just tries to find it if it's nearby. Guessing? Is there ammo here? Uh, dog meat. Don't look at me like that. I don't see any ammo here, though, dog meat. Maybe there's some up in the vehicle here? No. Oh no, now he's running off again. Dog meat. I wonder if I need to, like, tell him to stop at some point, or if he'll just keep trying to run around finding some. And for all I know, this doesn't work very well. Like this, he's standing here. This is a this is a junk pile. I know you're a good boy, but stop searching, dog meat. All right, goodbye, dog meat. Okay. Oh, that's, that's excellent. You're still a good boy. Yes, yes, you are. You can follow us around now. Excellent. Well, that's excellent. We got dog meat on our side now, and um. I think it's a good spot to stop our video right here for today. Next time, hopefully, we'll actually get to the town with our dog. Oh, I thought he'd run off. There he is. You guys have any thoughts, questions, comments? If you know if dog meat was in Fallout 1 or not, let us know down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button. It really helps the channel. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.